Hey ladies of Ride Nation, Mr. Tidbit here and I'm holding the 2012-2013 LXH binding. Uh, you know, this is a binding that gets overlooked by a lot of riders and it's not one that really should because there's a huge value here for this binding. It's an entry level binding but most companies that you uh, find this kind of technology in are going to be more at the $180, $200 price point. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the rad strap. This is an ankle strap that actually trickles down all the way from the fame binding. It's a very thin, very soft and comfortable strap. And the key to this is uh, it doesn't bunch up. It doesn't bind as you wrap it down around your boot. And that gets rid of those pinch spots. It doesn't cut off circulation to your toes and keeps it comfortable all day long. You also have the 2D toe strap. The 2D toe strap is great because it's convertible. It goes anywhere on the toe of your boot you want. So if you find it comfortable all the way up here, do it. If you like it there or even old school traditional style, you can put it there, it's going to stay there and it's going to be comfortable all day. You also have a nice smooth, easy to use ratchet that will you know, click down and stay put and you don't have to worry about it whatsoever. You also have a minimal tray design here. You'll notice that I can actually take the footbed and kind of flex it down. This is key because as you're learning to ride, you don't really know what it's supposed to feel like under your foot and what the board is doing. So this really helps give you a more natural flex as you ride to help you feel and understand what the board is doing so that you can make adjustments and not end up scorping on your butt. Um, and lastly, I want to talk about the high back. Ride really puts a lot of design into their high backs. Women, girls, your calves sit lower on your legs, and a lot of high backs are just way too tall and they dig into your calves. Ride women's high backs are much lower, they don't dig in, they've got a nice flex to them, and they're gonna give you the performance that you need without that pain that you might get from other bindings. So if you're just starting out riding, this is a perfect binding for you. If you're an intermediate rider, or hell, you've been around for 10 years and you're just looking for a solid binding at a great value, make sure you check out the LXH this fall.